Hello friends, it's Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're going to be doing, we are going to be finding ways, making number sentences that will all equal to the number 10. And here they all are. Here's all my number sentences. They are ready to go. We will use these 10 crayons here in order to help us figure out exactly what those number sentences are. What are those combinations? But first what we do before we get started, we have to make sure that we have 10 crayons. Because if we have any more than 10, if we have any less than 10, our combinations are not gonna be correct. Our number sentences are not going to be right. So let's count and see if, if we have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. We are ready to go. Now, we will also be using these crayons with another color to help us figure out what the other number is in our number sentence. You're probably wondering, well, what's that other color? Where are they? Watch. See, all I'm gonna do is flip my blue crayon over and it changes it into a red crayon. So that's where it's going to help us figure out what those combinations are. But right now, I wanna keep them all blue for the moment because my first combination is going to show 10 like it does right now. How many blue crayons will we have? How many red crayons will we have? So my first one is, let's start with our blue. We counted 10, perfect. We did that when we did our check. Do we have any red crayons? Not in this section. So therefore, our first combination is going to be 10 plus zero. Notice how I have my 10 is blue. That's standing for my blue crayons. Red is zero because I have zero red crayons. So my first number sentence is 10 plus zero equals 10. Okay, now things are gonna start changing. So here we go, now. We're going to start with one at a time. Things are going to change up. How many blues do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue. How many red? One. So my combination now is nine plus one equals 10. There we have it. Let's do another flip. It's changing again. Let's count our blues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blues. How many reds? One, two reds. So now my combination, my number sentence will be eight plus two equals 10. Time for another flip. Let's see how many blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many red? One, two, three. So here's my next number sentence, my next combination. Seven plus three equals 10. Flip it again. How many blue? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. How many red? One, two, three, four. Here's my next combination. Six plus four equals 10. I hope you're noticing what's going on with these crayons here. Let's see how many blues this time. One, two, three, four, five. How many reds? One, two, three, four, five. So look at this one, five plus five equals 10. For maybe some of my mathematicians out there, they would know this is what we call a doubles fact. When you add two of the same number together, five plus five equals 10 is a doubles. Let's keep going. Now let's see how many blue. One, two, three, four. How many red? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now my combination is four plus six equals 10. Let's keep it going. Looks like these reds are getting to be more and more. All right, how many blue? One, two, three. How many red? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now my combination is three plus seven equals How many blue? One, two, oh my goodness. How many red? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now this combination is two plus eight equals 10. All righty. How many blues? One. How many red? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what would this combination say? What would this number sentence be? One plus nine equals 10. Let's try one more. Oh, no more blue. So when there's no more blue, you know what number that means. Zero. How many red? Let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now that means this final combination, our final number sentence is zero plus 10 equals 10. Now, boys and girls, I also wanted to make sure to show you some things here too. Notice how I drew these number sentences directly across from each other. The reason why I did that is because we call those facts turnaround facts. Notice how we had a six plus four. Then it switched to four plus six, seven plus three, three plus seven, eight plus two, two plus eight, nine plus one, one plus nine, ten plus zero, zero plus ten. 
Now, the cool thing is when we do addition, notice how everybody has an addition sign. They have a plus sign. We can do a flip-flop, a turnaround fact. Because you, when you add, everything is being counted together. So there isn't an issue there. There would be an issue if we were subtracting, but not when we are adding. The only one that doesn't have a flip-flop, the only one that does not have a turnaround fact, is this one. Is our 5 plus 5. Why? Because if we turned him around, he would still be 5 plus 5. And notice, even when we did our flip-flops, even when we did our turnarounds, they still always equaled the number 10. So boys and girls, I hope you liked our little lesson on ways to make 10. As I said before, you could practice at home with any number. But just think, the bigger number you go, the more combinations that you can make. All right, my friends, I hope you have a great day and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, everyone.